That's my pawn you just eaten. Yeah? Oh, well, I'd moved it anyway. Now, what do you think you're doing? I'm moving my queen. That ain't your queen, that's my bishop. The salt cellar's my queen. <laughs> no, it ain't. The pepper pot's your queen. Well, if you don't know your pieces, I'm gonna play properly. Have you been moving anything else of mine? Oh, I don't know now. <laughs> that egg cup yours? Yeah. Oh, I've moved it. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> that's my king's rook, that is. Oh, that's it, isn't it? I mean, that's cocked up my Sicilian defence. <laughs> <laughs> I was wasted the time carrying on. I mean, I was trying out Novachensky's opening gambit from the World Championships. No wonder it won't come in all. Oh, look, we've got to get a proper set if we're going to play properly. <coughs> All right, set him up again. We'll give it another go. Does a Mr Albert Steptoe live here? Yeah, he does. So the old fella's still alive, eh? Yeah, he's alive, just. Well, it's like <laughs> it's just down out here like a couple of raw prawns, eh? <laughs> Come in, please. Uh, he's through there, in the lounge. Well, well, well! Who are you? <laughs> you don't recognise me, do you? No. Uh, it's not surprising. It's 45 years since you last saw me. I was a knee-eye to an abo's wife front when I left. <laughs> oh, I'm Arthur. Arthur? Arthur? Yeah, Arthur. Arthur. Arthur? Yeah. Arthur? He can't be. Not... Arthur. Arthur, yeah, <laughs> Arthur. Harold, it's Arthur. <laughs> Is it? I can't believe it after all these years. Little Arthur. Ah, old fella, now don't get you so upset. Let's have a Captain Cook at you. Yeah, I'd never forget you. A bit small, a bit older, but I'd never forget you. <laughs> Arthur, <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, Harold. This is your brother. <laughs> I've got no brother. Yes, you have, son. Arthur. Arthur? Yeah. Arthur. He's your elder brother. I don't be daft. I'm an only child. I've always been an only child. <laughs> Arthur's your stepbrother. Mr. What do you mean, stepbrother? <laughs> well, I met Arthur's mother before I met your mother. I see. And? Well, we was engaged for six years. And then one night I couldn't control myself anymore. <laughs> and after that, she went off me. I'm not bloody well surprised. <laughs> and then Arthur come along. But she wouldn't marry me. She got in the cricket club. <laughs> she said athletics and, and marriage didn't mix. And then she got picked for the women's cricket team to Australia. Leg spinner she was. And I never saw her again. And then I met your mother and that was that. A yeah, very nice story. That's very savoury. How many more little bastards you've got spread around the world? <laughs> Don't you talk to me like that. Well, you certainly used to put it around, didn't you? You never told me that you had another son. Well, it was so long ago. I haven't seen him since he was two years old. I never even knew if he was still alive. Well, I am alive. And kicking. So you're my kid brother, eh? Such would appear. Well, I reckon this calls for a celebration. Does it? Yeah. Let's open up a few tubes of Fosters. I brought some with me. They said it was harder to find over here than an Arab at a bar mitzvah. 
You reckon your beer is flatter than a witch's tip? There you go. <laughs> Have a real drink. To the Stepto family. Long may it be reunited. To me two sons. Come on now, have a drink up. Cheers. Oh, cripes, I needed that. My mouth was as dry as a kangaroo's jockstrap. <laughs> There's so much I want to ask you, Arthur. But, um, first things first, where are you staying? Well, as a matter of fact, Pop, I uh, haven't made up my mind yet. I've just fallen out of the flame and aeroplane. But I understand there's millions of DOS houses up around the Earl's Court, so I suppose I'll make my way up there oh, and... Oh, no, you don't want to do that. Why not? You can stay here with us. We ain't got no room. Of course we have. We make room. You don't want your brother staying with strangers. He's only arrived all the way from Australia. You can have Harold's room. Hey, wait a minute. Harold can put up a bed down here for the time being. Done it, huh? That's very decent of you, Harold. I'm obliged to you. Yeah, but, 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 well, you... that's settled then. Ah, very nice. Oh, I must say, it's great to be back in the old country again. I can't tell you, Dad, what it means to me to meet you again. Man, young Harold, a fine boy. Yeah, a man needs roots. Roots? You're not stopping it. I mean, long. I mean, it is a holiday. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm thinking of settling down here for good. I've been about a bit, you know. I've done a bit just about everything. Cattle driving, sheep shearing, walkabout, gold mining, pearl fishing. Oh, how marvellous. Yeah, it's much better than it is over here. You'll be bored to tears here. All we've got here is the bingo and the telly. <laughs> yeah, it's rotten when the rainy season starts and all. Rain. Love it. Love it. When you spend as long as I have in the outback, you've no idea how beautiful a drop of rain is. No, no, I'm getting a bit too long in the tooth for gallivanting. I think it's time for me to settle right down. And where better than in good old pommy land with your old dad and your kid brother. <laughs> Excuse me. How long are you going to keep my taxi waiting out here? Stand the flaming crows. I forgot all about you. Five pound ten, please. Five pound ten? Five pound ten. And I turned the clock off when you got out of the cab? Yeah, maybe you did, but I think you turned the bastard on when I left Melbourne. It's still <laughs> five pound ten. What, to drive me from London Airport? I'm not a flaming darkie, you know. It's still <laughs> five pound ten. Five pound ten. Um, Harold, I don't seem to have any pommy money on me. I wonder if you'd mind paying Ned Kelly here. What, oh, five pounds, eh? Yeah, give the man the money, Harold. I'll give it back to you. Too right, as soon as I've cashed me traveller's checks. Of course he will. Oh, it's marvellous to see you again, Arthur. <laughs> How's your mother? Oh, but very sad. Sorry to say, the old woman passed on last month. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. Yeah, it came as a great shock. Never been crook in her life. Active right up to the last. What happened to her? Keeled over with a half-shaved merino ram between her legs. <laughs> <laughs> New South Wales shearing championships, it was. She would have won, too. 39 seconds left and she only had the back legs to go. <laughs> oh, great tragedy. Yeah. Yeah, she was onto a whole carton of swan lager, too. Not that that would have lasted long, you understand. <laughs> here, you want another? Uh, and I'll go in here. Did she ever, uh, marry? Oh, no, no, not her. She shacked up for a while with an eye-tie plonk grower, but, uh, <laughs> uh, He used to beat the bejesus out of her, and one night he come home, real Adrian Christie was, and she bashed him over the head with a bottle of his, uh, Vino Redo. She loaded up the Ford and we didn't stop for 300 miles. <laughs> <laughs> My mother was a school teacher. <laughs> So it's a lovely woman my mother was. I don't believe a drop of alcohol ever passed her lips, did it, father? Oh, no. Not your mother. Salvation Army she was. Yeah, that's right. Very pious lady. Yeah? Oh, well, it's strange how a fella can have two Sheila's so different, eh? <laughs> oh, it's very amusing. Yeah. Well, well, now that you're home, Arthur, we'd better start making plans for your future. What plans? Well, now he's come to stay with us, he'd have to think about work, won't he? Work? Oh, yeah. Well, good idea. I'll take you down to the Labour Exchange first thing in the morning. They're taking a new tube across London, and I know they uses a lot of Commonwealth Labour. No, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't travel 12,000 miles just to dig my way across flame in London. Oh, I'm so sorry. Perhaps you as a trade or a profession. Well, uh, no, not exactly. No. Uh, Neither of you. Oh, no, I'm different. 
We're not down to each one. I've got my own business. Well, it's a family business, and Arthur's family he can come in with us. Hi. Yeah, 